This video was made possible by Dashlane. Make your time online faster and easier for free for 30 days by going to dashlane.com slash H-A-I. All right, so here's a question. What's the most expensive thing in the world? Also, another question. What's the point of finding out what the most expensive thing in the world is? None, there's no point. But hey, you're the one who clicked on the video, so maybe don't be so judgmental. And to answer the first question, let's set a few rules. One, it has to be a single thing. This rule is a bit tricky to define, but it's all about whether or not something intuitively feels like it's a single item. For example, we would accept something like a pepperoni pizza, which is made up of multiple things sauce, cheese, dough, pepperoni, cholesterol but that all comes together to make one cohesive, delicious item. But we would not accept something like New York City because New York City is made up of many disparate things skyscrapers and bridges and subways that don't work, and a series of mayors who look like Halloween monsters. Two, it has to really exist. It can't be some theoretical thing that would be expensive if someone made it, like a gold plated elephant or the Mona Lisa riding a T Rex skeleton eating a Fabergé egg. It has to be a real thing that really exists. Three, it has to be accurately priced. Things can get tricky here because a price can technically be whatever the seller says it is, regardless of the item's actual value. For example, if I take a pencil that I own and say that it would cost 400 trillion to buy it off me, that doesn't make the pencil the most expensive thing in the world. It just makes me annoying. So we'll base value on one of three things. A previous purchase of that item, the cost of creating the item, or an expert appraisal, and then we'll adjust for inflation. So now that we have our three rules, let's get started. If you Google what's the world's most expensive thing, the first answer you're likely to find is antimatter. There are even multiple videos on YouTube about this, and they'll tell you that antimatter is worth about $62.5 trillion per gram, which is true and is interesting, but is not the answer to our question for two reasons. First of all, humanity has only ever created 18 nanograms of antimatter, which amounts to only $1,170,000, which is less than the cost of the world's most expensive office chair, let alone the world's most expensive thing. Second of all, a substance feels like it shouldn't count because it isn't really a single item. After all, if we allow substances, I could say the answer is all the world's gold, which is just a really lame and boring answer. So let's keep going. Right now, as I make this video, Apple is the world's most valuable corporation worth $1.164 trillion. This feels closer to the right answer, but I still don't think it qualifies. The reason is that even though Apple can be classified as one company, it still doesn't feel like one thing. Apple consists of separate factories and warehouses and physical stores, plus employees, intellectual property, and now, for some reason, a TV show about Jason Momoa being blind, and that's just two different stuff to all count as one thing. So let's focus on things that would qualify. In my quest to answer this question, I had to come across a lot of wrong answers before I found the right one, and now I'm going to tell them all to you, both because they're interesting and also because if I just told you the answer right from the start, this video would be 10 seconds long. My first thought was art. And while the most expensive piece of art ever sold is the Salvatore Mundi, a blurry looking painting of Jesus, the most expensive piece of art in existence is the Mona Lisa, a blurry looking painting of a random Italian noblewoman who doesn't have any eyebrows. It's insured for about $850 million, enough to buy every person in Wyoming a round trip ticket to Paris to see the Mona Lisa, but not enough to be the answer to our question. Then, because I'm me, I looked at planes. Except I didn't because this episode was written by my writer Adam, but I guess that means he's learning. The most expensive aircraft in the world is the B-2 Spirit Bomber, which looks like a flying stingray if a stingray could refuel mid-air, drop thermonuclear bombs, and cost $3.37 billion each. That still wasn't enough though, so next I went to the opposite of planes. Boats. Like the world's most expensive plane, the world's most expensive ship is another US military vessel. I mean, hey, what a coincidence. It's almost like the US spends more money on its military than the next 10 countries combined. That most expensive ship is the USS Gerald R. Ford, which cost $13 billion, enough to buy everyone in Omaha, Nebraska, Gerald Ford's hometown, a Ford F-150, but it's still not the answer. My next stop was buildings, and the most expensive is the Great Mosque of Mecca, which cost an estimated $100 billion. That's a lot of money. If Jeff Bezos bought the Great Mosque of Mecca, all he'd have left is a paltry $10 billion. But while the Great Mosque is expensive, it's beaten out by one thing, and so here it is. The answer you've watched the whole video to learn, or let's be honest, the answer that you skipped to the end of the video to find. The world's most expensive thing 
is the International Space Station, which adjusted for inflation cost $177 billion. And look, I know, I know, technically that's not the most expensive thing in the world as the ISS isn't in the world, it's in space. But the way I see it, it's not just floating in space, it's in low Earth orbit. It's subject to the Earth's gravity, it'll fall back to Earth eventually, it was made by Earth, and most importantly, I make the videos, I get to decide how I define the questions, and if you don't like that, you can go form your own semi-satirical, semi-educational YouTube channel. If you do decide to start your own YouTube channel, you're going to want to make your time online as easy and seamless as possible. I mean, with all the extra friends, social clout, and the six-pack apps that are sure to come from being a successful YouTuber, you'll want to save time online, and for that, you should use Dashlane. Dashlane is the mobile and desktop app that gives you a shortcut for everything you do online. It stores all your passwords and information behind one super secure password, meaning you can breeze through sign-ins, forms, and purchases easily, quickly, and securely. You can try it out for free for 30 days by going to dashlane.com slash HAI, and if you decide you like it, which I think you will, you can use the code HAI for 10% off. 